What is up, y'all? For today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to a couple episodes of Boruto. Last couple episodes I ended up watching, you know, nothing too crazy. Kawaki wanted to lead the village because, you know, he wanted to protect them and everything. Shigamaro stops him and tells him whether he likes it or not. He's, you know, a member of the Leaf Village and everything. And Delta is pretty much on cleanup crew getting rid of Boro's congregation. So I'm excited to see how these next couple episodes go. But before I get started with the reaction, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. So with all that being said, let's get started with the reaction and see what Boruto has in store for us. Oh, I wonder, I wonder if Koji stole data on on Boruto and possibly Kawaki if they have any, if they like made any kind of data for him so i feel like like if, if he if koji did steal data on shinobi it would probably be like boruto kawaki um maybe even naruto and sasuke it would be interesting if if koji stole information stole data off of other shinobi too like these guys like you know inojin um shigida and chocho maybe because like to see if anyone else can possibly have the potential to have the karma mark just like boruto and kawaki Cause I'm telling you, he's like Koji is from the village. It has to be Jiraiya. Like there is no way it can't be dry. If it's someone else and it's like it's just coincidence that they look like Jiraiya, have the same techniques and everything, I would be absolutely furious. Like Koji for sure is Jiraiya. Wait, wait, wait. So Chocho was actually right? Like I thought that was just like a like a different building than what, what um Koji was in, but yeah, like Chocho was actually right. She managed, like, like her intuition told her, like, to go to this building and this probably where where Koji was chilling. Oh, Kakashi. Wait, the thing is, like, Inoji was, like, in front of him. How? Why was he surprised? Like, you were legit in front of him. I don't know, some reason, I'm kind of getting a feeling this might not be Kakashi. Like, this is... It'd be interesting if this was Koji transformed into Kakashi. Oh, wait, that, that one actually kind of looked like Koji. So like Koji's just like roaming around like all willy nilly, like it's nothing. If that is Koji, if that actually is Koji, that's kind of ballsy for him. It is Koji. What? Like, why is Koji just like walking around all, all willy nilly? This could potentially just be a trap. This could be just be a, a shadow clone. And like Kakashi could be all like a transformation. It could that could be Koji him, the real Koji. This could just be something Koji wants them to believe that like he's on the train, and when they get there and try to investigate it, you know Koji will still be in the village, but they'll be like you know pretty far away from the village. So I'm so I'm thinking this might not be the an actual like this might be just a shadow clone, and it was just a way to lure them away from the village so he can kind of like go back into hiding. I think this was a little too easy to catch Koji, like a hundred percent. It was this was like a little bit too easy. It was a clone, so I mean he's still in the village, probably wherever those blueprints that he stole. Like he's probably in whatever building that was. Okay, never mind. So it seems like this was the real Kakashi after all. I don't know. Like he was just giving me like a different vibe and everything. Like it, it, he kind of seemed a little bit too suspicious. Oh, so that's what it was. It wasn't from anyone. It wasn't like... Okay, so he wasn't going after, like, like what um Denki was saying, like, you know, because Denki said that um the intruder stole information on Shinobi, right? So he was right, but at the same time, I was just kind of thinking that, like, he got information off of Boruto, Kawaki, and possibly other people. You know, maybe to see if they have potential to, like, bear the karma mark and everything. That ends up being completely wrong. He was just getting information of Shinobi from the fourth great ninja war. But why? Why is he trying to get... Why is he? Why would he get information about Shinobi from the war then? Because he is Jiraiya. He is Jiraiya. That's how he was able to slip through the sensing system. Toad Smoke Jutsu. Dude, I'm telling you... This has to be Jiraiya. There is just no way this isn't him. He's getting sentimental. Could that mean that like it, that, 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 that he is Jiraiya? Could he be trying to get data off of like Madara, Obito, um, Kaguya or something? Since it only contains data off of past Shinobi? I feel like they're just like 
they just keep teasing us. They're getting closer and closer to telling us that Koji is Jiraiya. But like, you know, no one has like come to that conclusion yet, which makes sense because he's supposed to be dead and everything. But still, like, you know, like connect the dots, guys. He's still like recharging and he's only at 10%. Either their charging system is extremely slow, or that just means Co like Jigen just has so much power. So is that what Koji is trying to do? Like, does he want to kill Jigen while he's still recharging everything? Amato told Koji this? So like, are they plotting to like, are they kind of like plotting to get rid of uh, Jigen? Yo, yo, are they, are they really planning on getting rid of, trying to get rid of Jigen because like, He's not at like 100% at all yet. It's finally time. What are they going to Are they going to try to get rid of Jigen? They are. Wait, why, why, why are they betraying Jigen? Why are they going to? Okay. Woo. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. So they're. Oh, my. Yo. Okay. So it starts off with. With uh koji right you know walking up to like where you know just walking around and then he bumps into amato and you know amato tells him like oh jigen's only at 10 percent right now because he's recharging and and like amato brings up like you know you know so like someone might plan to you know kill jigen in his sleep and then koji like tells amato like oh you're the one who told me about this opportunity and they start talking like like on the same page that it's finally time. None of the innards are like inners are like are there. They're all out and about. And so this is the perfect timing for them to take out Jigen. Wait a minute. I thought like I, I knew Koji probably like I had a feeling like Koji wasn't like a hundred percent um like a follower uh or like um support. I think that's what I'm trying to think of. Like 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 um koji doesn't support jigen at all like but like i knew that i had a feeling about that but i thought amato out of anyone would fully support jigen but it seems like that's completely wrong because it seems like they're planning on getting rid of jigen because like you know amato said he's only at 10 percent right now which is crazy you know it's been quite a while since jigen fought against naruto and sasuke and with, with amato telling telling Koji, he was the one that told Koji about like, you know, this opportunity, you know, to that Jigen is, you know, still recharging. None of the inners are, are over at their base right now. And they're both planning on getting rid of Jigen. Oh, the plot thickens. Yo, I cannot believe that both of them are in cahoots with each other to try to get rid of Jigen. Unless Amato could be faking out Koji, you know, he wants to get rid of Koji instead. Oh my, I don't, I don't know what to think anymore. I don't know what to think, but I cannot believe that plot twist. Because like this episode, you know, started off a little bit on the slower side because I'm pretty sure this is like a, a mixed episode. So it's like mixed canon, mixed filler or whatever, right? And so it starts off with like um, Koji pretty much stealing data from an archive and everything. And um, Inojin, Shikidai, and Chocho try to go find the intruder. And, you know, they team up with Kakashi to go find him. And in the end, like, Koji goes to the location of where this scroll was because it was, like, the one of the only ones that didn't get, like, digitized and everything because Kakashi realized this is what Koji was after. And it was it was data on Shinobi, past Shinobi from the fourth grade ninja war, right? So, you know, beginning, not anything too crazy. It was, it was, it was interesting, but nothing, like, too insane except getting to the part where we find out that Koji is after data from, like, you know, he was trying to like gather information from like past Shinobi from the fourth grade Ninja War, but then, you know, he re he realized that there's nothing in there that, you know, he wants or needs. And then you get to when he's back at the base and him and Amato are talking about getting rid of Jigen. That is, that again, that is just wild. Like that was unexpected. I cannot believe that Amato is in cahoots with with Koji to get rid of Jigen. I never would have expected that. I thought again, I thought Amato was like fully supportive of Jigen and everything. But no, I was wrong. I was wrong. They're in cahoots to go take down Jigen. But yeah, 
episode was crazy, especially at the end because we got that crazy, crazy plot twist. So I got nothing else to say for this episode. So let's just get started with the next one because I need to see what happens. I need to absolutely see what is going on. Why Jigen, not Jigen, why Koji and Amato are planning to get rid of Jigen. So that's why uh, Koji was still staying the leave village. He was getting data so they can use it on Jigen. But I still can't believe that like even Amato is like, is like he wants to get rid of Jigen too. Now, where are they going? Are they going to Lee Village? Are they going to Mount Miyoboku for some reason? Like what's going on right here? Oh, Delta's here now. Oh, Delta can get in the way of getting rid of Jigen. So I wonder, would, would, would that mean that Koji would have to get rid of Delta? Because again, like she would probably would get in the way of both of them trying to take down Jigen while he's recharging. Oh, oh, a model installed some sort of like fail safe and oh, an emergency shutdown code just in case of anyone else like Delta or code or even like Boro when he was so alive, like in case they ended up interfering with their plans. That was smart. That was 100% smart, but I would have loved to see Koji go up against Delta. Oh, oh, he was sending a model to the Leaf Village. Oh. But why to leave? Like, what? Like, does Amato kind of, like, have to get ready and everything, you know, in order for them to, like, take out Jigen? Okay, so what what is going on? Like, why is Amato now, like, interacting with, like, Inojin, Shin, uh, Shigurai, and Chocho? Like, what? <laughs> I can't... I, I, I'm still in shock that he's he is in with cahoots with Koji to get rid of Jigen, and, like, whatever they're planning has to be big in order to take him down. He wants to go talk to Shikamaru. He needs Shikamaru now? Oh my gosh. What is... I, I, I cannot believe this. He needs to talk to Shikamaru. Oh, 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 this is serious. He's using Shigadai as... He's using Shigadai as a hostage just so he can ensure that possibly Shikamaru would say yes to whatever a model wants. Well, with a model being there... With the model being there, it could be helpful for for them too. So he can help like repair. So 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 Amato can help repair Kawaki, and in return, um, Shikamaru helps Amato with whatever him and Koji are planning. So this can end up benefiting both sides. Man, seeing Shikamaru like this, oh, that's crazy. Seeing him like that, it was just. Oh my, you could sense the hatred in his eyes right now. Is he going to prove that it's a bomb and it's like, it's going to blow up. So he's like, yo, so y'all got to calm down or that's what's going to happen to Shikadai. Yeah. He's showing them that he's not playing around right now because like, like they have like a really good opportunity to take down Jigen. So he has to like take every type of like precaution or whatever, like that he has. Yo, whatever like Jigen, not Jigen, whatever Amato is about to say, it's gonna go crazy. He wants to work with the Leaf Village? Oh, oh my gosh, he wants to work with them. Oh, that's crazy. That is crazy. But again, like even like if they if they let um Amato defect to the Leaf Village, you know, one, they'll be able to get like intel on kara and jigen and everything right two he can help re repair kawaki so he can be at a hundred percent and three it just means that they'll have more like more ar like arsenal for them to take on jigen yeah he's right there's no other choice like like this is the only op like this is like probably like the best opportunity they have in order to take on kara and jigen and also it's a it's a way to save shikadai Man, when Naruto talks like that, when he talks like that, he's like, you do anything funny, you know, it's not going to end well for both of us. Now, I'm sure Koji is staying because, like, you know, he wants to keep an eye on Jigen to make sure, like, you know, he doesn't reach 100 percent and wonder where Amato is. And, you know, just, you know, he's just there to buy time and possibly if he needs to possibly fight against Jigen, you know, in case Amato doesn't make it in time. My God, seeing Shikamaru like this. Again, seeing Shikamaru like this, I absolutely love it because he's usually like a cool headed guy, especially in like tense situations. So seeing him like this right now, 
absolutely love it. So yeah, if they end up helping Amato, Amato can help them out in two ways. One, taking out Kara and Jigen, and then two, you know, helping Kawaki get like, like, you know, fixing Kawaki back up. But I mean, you know, Amato would die either way. Either he dies in the hands of like, you know, Naruto and them, or he goes back to Jigen and dies from, you know, Jigen. Yeah, so like, if anything, Amato is like, you know, he has the best hand right now. Even though it doesn't look like it, he definitely has the better, like, the better hand. So, like, realistically, you know, he's kind of in control. So, uh, most likely on the other end, it's going to be, um, it's going to be Koji. So, I wonder, I wonder, is there going to be, like, you know, any thinking about this is Jiraiya? So, Jigen already knew about, like, or, like, had, like, suspicions about, um, Koji and Amato working together, you know, in letting Kawaki escape. So he already knows that, like, so yeah, he knows that they're revolting against him and everything. He, ooh, oh, this is gonna go crazy. Even though he's not fully charged yet, he can still do all of this? Oh, no. No, they can't let Jiraiya die twice. Oh, okay. Just a clone. You gotta remember, if it's never that easy to kill an important character. It, a lot of times, it's just a clone. He was created to. <laughs> yo, yo, oh, oh my gosh! So his motives, right from the very beginning, it was clear. He, Kawaki, not Kawaki, Koji. Koji was created just so he can kill Jigen. Oh my! So this this isn't just like anything new, or right? like 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 they're like with 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 Amato and Koji deciding to go up against Jigen and you know kill him. This isn't like something that they you know came up with you know a couple weeks ago. This was something done from the very beginning. This was what like. Koji was programmed to do. He was pretty much created to take down Jigen. That, that's wild. Like I thought, like you know, like I, I, I don't know what to think. I thought like this was something that like kind of like gradually happened. Like I thought this was like you know Koji wanting to take down Jigen. I thought like that was like you know something that was like gradually happening you know like at first he didn't want to take down jigen but then like you know things went down and like he started to gradually kind of like you know decide that he wants to take take down jigen but no when he was created that was his job to take down jigen so pretty much the plan was to have amato go to the leaf village you know and talk to shikamaru because you know he didn't think amato didn't think that naruto was you know up and running yet but it turns out that he was and Amato, he, he wants to have this meeting to talk and be like, yo, like, I will give you information on Kara, Jigen, the Tentails, the Ototsuki. I'll give you everything you want as long as you let me defect into the Leaf Village. You know, that was just, that was wild. And then, like, you know, when they do get to talking, you know, before they even get to, like, when, they, when they're about to talk and everything, you know, Right now, Amato is in control of this whole situation because he has Shigadai as a hostage right now. And, you know, Naruto is like, you know, like, don't worry, I'm not going to kill you or anything. And he's like, well, you know, even if you do, even like, even if you do, I'm going to be dead either way. Either like, you know, you kill me or I go back to Kara and Jigen ends up killing me. So, you know, he's he would die either way, whether or not he works with them or or not. And now that Amato is like, you know, having communications with Koji and Jigen in real time, you know, with their little meeting and everything, you know, we it gets revealed that Koji was created to kill Jigen. And then I think this is this is definitely going to solidify the fact that, you know, Amato is willing to help them out. You know, if he's like showing them like, you know, showing them, um, you know, this uh, webcam webcast or everything or whatever. Right. You know, if he's showing them this and like proving that, like, yeah, we're we are pretty much wanting to take down Jigen. You know, I feel like this ends up helping their case with that. You know, 
they're not trying to double cross him or anything that they are trying to get rid of Jigen and you know they want their help and everything but like you know they got to work together in order for this to happen this was just full of damn surprises you know again um uh amato going to the leaf village to talk to shikamaru naruto to defect so he can go to the leaf village and two finding out that koji was created just to take down jigen like this is this is going crazy this is this is a, this whole thing it's about to go insane, you know, because now, like, if Amato is going to end up working with Naruto and everything, you know, in order to take down Jigen, this whole thing is about to go insane because, again, he has information on Jigen, he has information on Kara, the Ten Tails, and Otsutsuki members. So they have a lot of resources on their side with just getting Amato to be on their side. But yeah, like I said, this episode was just absolutely crazy with everything that they ended up revealing to us so far this is just this has just been a crazy crazy episode i gotta process everything that just happened in this episode because again it was just crazy it was wild so i pretty much got nothing else to say for this video so i'm gonna end the video here thank you all for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel for my other reactions also for my discussion videos so if you're into any of those definitely subscribe to the channel like the video comment you know the whole thing so with all that being said again thank you all for watching until next time see ya